Hello friends. Having finished with the installation of drywall, sealed the joints in it and carefully putty it, it is time to paint the ceiling. You can see all the stages of creating a ceiling by clicking on the links that I placed in the description for this video. Friends, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and put likes if my video turned out to be useful to you at least a little. In this video we will talk about painting the ceiling with water-based paint, using a roller with an extension telescopic rod. For painting the ceiling in a specific case, I use a matte water dispersion paint. I will not name a specific manufacturer. Who cares what kind of paint? Take a closer look, the packaging will be visible in the video. About the choice of paint, you can say so, to get a good result, you cannot save on paint, as well as on other materials, and it is better to give preference to high quality and proven manufacturers. Before painting, the plastered ceiling surface must be carefully primed. To reduce paint consumption, the ceiling can be primed in two layers with intermediate drying between them. When choosing a primer for the ceiling, in no case, do not use a film forming primer. To create a high quality base of the ceiling surface, a strengthening soil is required, thanks to which the plastered surface will become stronger and more uniform. And when using a film forming primer, during the painting process, swelling and peeling of the paint from the surface are possible. I start by painting the ceiling with a brush. I painted all the inner corners, the place around the chandelier, as well as other places where it is impossible to use a roller. I use a brush with mixed bristles, try to apply the paint in a thin layer, so that there are no streaks from the bristles. I do it twice, with intermediate drying between layers. To paint the entire ceiling, I use a polyacrylic roller with a pile height of 10 mm. When choosing a roller, remember that the longer the nap at the roller, the more rough the ceiling surface will be. With a roller with a high pile, it is easier to hide the defects remaining from the putty, and for beginners, it is much easier to work with it. When choosing a roller in a store, it is advisable to check literally by touch to see if the pile is coming out of it. To do this, just from the edge of the roller, skip the pile between your fingers and lightly, squeeze its villi several times. If the pile remains in your fingers with almost no effort, then it may also remain on your ceiling and it is better to look for another roller. The main thing is not to abuse it. And do not pluck the nap from all the rollers in the store. To paint the ceiling while standing on the floor, I use a telescopic rod. Next, I pour the paint into a cuvette and roll out the roller in it so that the paint from the roller does not drip onto the floor, and the roller is evenly wetted with paint. Painting large areas of the ceiling, it is better to do it crosswise. By applying the first layer, if the room has a window, across the direction of the light, and the second layer is applied along the direction of the light from the window. In a room without windows, this technique is not necessary, and if the room is narrow and elongated, then it is better to first paint across the narrow part, after which, apply a second layer along the long part of the room. When painting a ceiling consisting of various and narrow elements, it is easier to paint by moving the roller in the direction of the longer length of these elements. Painting with water dispersion paint is carried out according to the wet on wet technology, that is, after applying one strip of paint, the next strip of painting is applied with an overlap by half, thereby removing paint transitions remaining from the edges. Thus, the ceiling is painted in two layers and in two different directions. When working, it is important to always control the areas that have already been painted over and not to allow drops from paint, as well as unpainted areas. It is worth remembering that when working with a roller on a putty surface, and even more so on drywall, you cannot overmoisten the surface, it is better to make another layer after drying. Also, you cannot roll the roller over the same place for a long time, since from such actions it is possible for the putty to peel off and wind it on the roller. If this happens, let this area dry, to speed up, you can use a construction hairdryer. After that, the damaged area will need to be putty again, 
for which you can use a fine dispersion quick drying putty, then sand the surface again, eliminating the halo of the putty's transition to fresh paint, after which only the repaired area is painted over locally. When applying the first coat, the paint can be thinned slightly if the absorbent surface of the ceiling is still high. The second layer, it is better to apply with a thicker paint, which ensures better covering power, and reduces the likelihood of smudges and drops on the ceiling. Between paint layers, it is imperative to arrange an intermediate drying, Paint with a second layer without allowing the first to dry, an unjustified risk, since the waterlogged putty loses its strength and can easily begin to lag behind along with the paint. Also, keep in mind that it is better to work without drafts, since with a draft, the paint dries unevenly and quickly. Due to this, you may not have time to remove paint smudges on the ceiling and the paint itself is not sufficiently absorbed into the base and dries up on the surface itself, as a result of which the paint does not adhere firmly to the ceiling. After finishing painting, complete surface polymerization can reach one month, which means that if, for example, your paint is washable, then it will reach its parameters in terms of hardness and the possibility of resistance to friction only after complete polymerization. After painting the ceiling, try not to carry out any work related to dust, let the paint dry, after which you can no longer be afraid and continue your business. That's all, in one of the following videos, I will try to talk about the installation of a decorative installation on this ceiling, as well as there will be a separate video about the installation of an LED strip in ceiling niches. Subscribe to my channel, and if you liked the video, do not forget to like it, good luck to everyone and see you soon on the Clever Bill channel.